Well, this is unique. Ever thought of air travel in terms of reusable shipping containers? If what a bunch of researchers are doing in Switzerland is anything to go by, that concept might just fly. Developed at the Federal Polytechnic Institute, the pod plane's concept could one day allow passengers to board at rail stations. These pods each measure 30 meters in length. After being ferried to the airport, the pod would join others under a giant 60-meter wing. This modular concept aircraft is one of several developed by Swiss researchers called Clip Air. According to CNN, its speed and range would be around the same as most mid-sized commercial aircraft. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's something else entirely. If this takes off, launch pads could be a thing of the past. This is the largest plane in the world, but it has yet to take flight, and it's not a passenger plane. So what exactly does it do? The Strato launch plane is comprised of two twin fuselages, massive wings, and is carried by six Boeing 747 engines. With its 117-meter wingspan, the aircraft is wider than a football field. It's designed to carry space-bound rockets with a payload of up to 275 tons. The Strato launch commences takeoff with a rocket attached to its belly. With no payload, the plane weighs around 250 tons. With fuel and a fully loaded rocket, the plane can fly with a maximum takeoff weight of 650 tons. For scale, that's around the same weight as a commercial Airbus A380, carrying 550 passengers. The Strato launch is manned by a three-person crew in the right fuselage, including a pilot, co-pilot, and a flight engineer. The left fuselage cockpit is designed to remain empty and is unpressurized. The rocket is released after the plane reaches 35,000 feet. The rocket then fires its own engine and travels towards its orbit. The plane is designed for air rocket launches in low Earth orbit conditions to become a routine commute. The Strato launch is currently undergoing fuel tests and is expected to make its first launch in 2019. Dutch researchers propose circular airport runways. Scientists in the Netherlands are working at the country's aerospace center to develop circular airport runways. Researchers at the Endless Runway, a project funded by the European Commission, believe circular runways could have several benefits, including being more environmentally friendly and less noisy. The group proposes constructing a 3.5 kilometer wide circular runway with banked sides divided into 18 runway segments with the airport terminal in the center of the circle. The length of the circular runway would be equal to three straight runways while being able to handle the air traffic of four. Circular runways would allow planes to land and take off at any point in the circle. Pilots would be able to land in directions with the most favorable weather conditions while avoiding difficult maneuvers in situations such as strong crosswinds. The circular design would also mean aircraft coming into land circle the airport fewer times, thus using less fuel. The design allows for three planes to land and take off at the same time. Because of centrifugal forces, planes would automatically go slower and move toward the center of the runway. Circular runways could also limit noise pollution by spreading it more evenly around the airport. The U.S. military conducted tests in the 1960s with circular runways, but commercial circular runways have never been built. Son of Concorde plane prepares to go supersonic. U.S. aircraft maker Arion has launched a joint engine study with GE Aviation for a supersonic jet that aims to cut flight times between London and New York to just over four hours. The Ariane AS-2 plane has a relatively short wingspan and a long fuselage, similar to the design of supersonic fighter jets. The plane's thin wings vastly reduce friction drag when compared to traditional aircraft wings. The AS-2 can reach speeds of Mach 1.5, which is one and a half times the speed of sound. The supersonic speed means the AS-2 could travel from London to New York in just four hours and 24 minutes. Private jet company FlexJet made the first purchase of the AS-2 when it ordered 20 of the aircraft in 2015. Ariane hopes to launch the AS-2 next year with its first flight scheduled for 2023. Uncrewed space plane nails drop test. Scientists dropped this space plane from a helicopter over the Mojave Desert on Saturday. The privately built autonomous Dream Chaser space plane 
completed a free flight drop test in California on Saturday, November 11th. It can carry seven passengers and looks like a smaller version of current NASA shuttles. Dream Chaser will use Atlas rockets to fly half a dozen delivery missions to the International Space Station by 2024. The test examined the plane during the final approach and landing phase of flight. The Dream Chaser was uncrewed, meaning it was flying on auto, but despite that, it pretty much crossed the drop test. Copy 8,000. Copy 8,000. Good radar altimeters. Approach and land. PTIs. Copy approach and land. PTIs are active. End of PTIs. Copy. PTIs complete. Copy 400. Landing gear. Copy gear deploy. Good gear deploy. High feet. Touchdown. Russia develops low flying cargo plane. A cargo plane designed to fly just above the ground and capable of carrying huge loads is under development in Russia. The new ground effect vehicle would be able to carry up to 500 tons of cargo in a single trip, running on fuel efficient liquefied natural gas. The low flying aircraft would fly over the ground, water or ice at heights of 3 to 12 meters above the surface. The ground effect vehicle has short wide wings that trap air between the aircraft and the ground. This creates downdrafts that produce less drag and greater lift force than other fixed wing aircraft, allowing the plane to carry bigger loads with less fuel. Russia has a tradition of developing low flying ground effect vehicles, also known as Ikronoplan. The Soviet Union built several of these giant low flying aircraft in the 1970s and 80s. Perhaps the best known example was this 544 ton experimental vehicle. Nicknamed the Caspian Sea Monster by Western Intelligence, it was the largest aircraft in the world when it was built in 1966.